So before the video starts, I just want to show you my crappy record. You can see in the left top corner and then on the right top, just proof that I'm in Division 1 and they are tested in Division 1. They're not tested in no freaking uh, squad battles. I have not even touched squad battles, so... Uh, I think if I click it, the freaking thing still pops up. Yeah, so see, I have not even played squad battles. So uh, it's uh, not foot champs because I haven't played foot champs with Nyan. I just got him like Wednesday. So yeah, enjoy the video. D1 gameplay. And yeah, just showing you proof so you guys know he's been tested to the limits. Not to show off, just because I want to show that he's been tested to the limits. And then another player review really quick before the video starts is I'm working on Korea. So far, one game, one goal. I brought him in as a sub, but then I was like, I'll do uh, my own team. I'll make a team around him and try to make him work and see how he does in Division 1 and foot champs. So I'll be using him and foot champs this weekend. Scoring a couple goals, reviewing him by Sunday, so there should be a video up on this man right here if you're interested. Uh, so yeah, see you guys Sunday with this man. Hello guys and welcome to the channel. My name is FIFA Beetle and today I have a player review on a pretty interesting player as you can see right here, Nyan. Now he is the player of the month for the league. Uh, and uh, man, Ibrahima Nyan. I didn't expect him to be any good. He, he caused probably like... I don't know, 15,000 coins. I, I didn't even have to pay anything. It was all off of players I had in the market. And I just threw them in Division 1. I said, screw it. I want to try them. And six games, 14 goals, one assist. And let me tell you, this guy has had three hat tricks in Division 1. One hat trick, his first game. The second hat trick, his second game. And I believe his fourth game, he had another hat trick. And then the rest are just consistent goals. Uh, I think he had like four goals one game, so I, I can't even remember. But this man, uh, I did not expect him to be good. Now, just in the video, I played him with a hunter card. In this one, I have him with a finisher card. So right here, you can see his stats. He has a high-low, 6-2, three-star, three-star. That kind of sucks. But he's born in 1999. He's a League uh, so that kind of sucks. His nationality is Senegal, and then he is uh, part of League One, so you're gonna have to try to find a way to work him out. If not, I'm pretty much doing this so you could see that he's a uh, he could be a cool uh, super sub. He is fast. Look at his pace: 95 acceleration, 89 sprint speed. His attacking positioning is 80, finishing 82, 94 shot power. Now that's a pretty big uh, plus right there. His shot power is pretty freaking amazing. He has uh, 80 long shots, which I didn't find to be that amazing, but. Uh, the things that stand out is uh, 96 heading accuracy, 91 jumping, and uh, strength is 87, agility 87, reaction 76, ball control 81, dribbling 87, balance is 66, that kind of sucks, that kind of contradicts the strength because uh, he could get bodied himself because he's so off balance. So all these games that you're about to see is uh, tested in Division 1, okay? I want to make a schedule so on Mondays and uh, Fridays I want to post pro clubs videos those days Sundays after a uh, weekend league is over because I would have tested out a player by then is uh, Sundays would usually be player reviews if I have any players that I reviewed Wednesdays will be some Call of Duty and then um, Tuesdays and Thursdays could just be random who knows so uh yeah so stay tuned for that and uh, that's pretty much that I think oh and I guess this is a team I've been playing them and it's crazy I've been playing them in uh eight chemistry what the? It just said seven earlier. That's weird. I don't know what I just did. But anyways, Nyang. Here's a team. I know it's very basic. I kind of made this team just because I sold my other team and I wanted to buy a... I was saving up for a Bundesliga team, but I said I'll just make a French league really quick. And this team has been freaking amazing. I mean, look at Griezmann's stats. Division 1, 65 games played, 87 goals. Look at the assist. That's freaking insane. And then this man I was doing a review on, but then I just decided not to. I do recommend him, but I do recommend his cheaper card. I lost so much money. Look at how much I paid, 151000 And uh, now he's worth like 70 k That's freaking crazy. And then Pogba, the assist machine, man. 21 assists, 35 games, 13 goals. Worth the money, in my opinion. Uh, these uh, the center backs have been good. I did the Altail uh, SBC, and I do not regret it. He is freaking amazing. I didn't even know he had five-star week. Uh, player review I'm working on is this man right here, Korea Assist. Stay tuned for that. That should be out Sunday, actually. So the instructions I have on uh, Nyan is just get in behind and that's it. Uh, that's pretty much basic. Just get in behind. That's it. Just make them get in behind. And that's pretty much it. So enjoy the gameplay uh, and see what you guys do. I'll be doing some live commentary over and I'll be telling you what I rate them 1 out of 10, what division I recommend them in, and what his pros and cons are. So stay tuned uh, for this part of the video. So here we go. We got Nyan in action. 
I want to start going off with his freaking pros, man. Oh, Jesus. Look at that tackle from Atal. I called him Atail earlier. I, I guess I've been uh, playing too much Assassin's Creed and got my Italian going crazy. But anyways, uh, look at Nyan. Look at that speed. That's against Varan right there. Varan can barely keep up with him. Disgusting cuts and he freaking scores. So his pros is his freaking speed. Obviously, you can see right there as I squeeze my wiener. Um, and uh, his other pros is his strength. His strength is freaking amazing. Uh, stay tuned for his cons because I'm going to show you why his strength could suck in certain situations. But I think it's freaking amazing. Off the ball run. Look at this uh, Griezmann right there. Boom, Nyan. Boom, the tweeter. And boom, Nyan back to uh, the net. Another goal right there. But yeah, look at that goal from him. Uh, but yeah, another pro is his height. His height, he is like, what, 6'2", 6'3"? That's freaking crazy. 184 meters or centimeters, whatever you freaking uh, uh, different uh, people that aren't American uh, use. Uh, yeah, he's pretty freaking tall. And he has uh, another pro, which is his heading. His heading is amazing. I, I think it's somewhere in the 90s with his jumping being somewhere in the high 80s, low 90s. For his height of 6'3", it's freaking amazing. Uh, the thing is, I haven't tested it. I kind of want to put him back in and cross it. I kind of had this guy taking my corners by default. And uh, that's a pretty big mistake. This guy could have probably scored way more goals. But uh, that's another pro. Another pro that I could think of is um, shot power. Yes, shot power. This dude has freaking amazing shot power. Uh, just freaking... I don't recommend finessing. Boom! Look at that shot power. I just recommend shooting the ball at the freaking net. Away from the keeper. Don't shoot at the keeper. Don't listen to your coaches in high school or freaking peewee soccer telling you to aim at the goalie. That's freaking stupid. Always aim top bins or somewhere the goalie's not there. Uh, but yes, shot power. Uh, FIFA Beetle approves of his shot power. FIFA Beetle approves of his uh, freaking height. And FIFA Beetle approves of his... Uh, what else? Oh, his freaking speed. Amazing. I used him with a hunter card and then I switched him to a finisher card. Uh, I forgot he is in eight. Uh, what is it? Eight chemistry. So I kind of messed that up. So I don't know what the hell is thinking. Anyways, let's go to his freaking cans. His cans, as they say in New York, is uh, what was it? His cons. I can't think of cons because he's doing so good, and there's pretty much highlights of him doing good. But his cons is, I want to say, his dribbling. He, he dribbles like Sissoko in real life. If you ever seen him dribble, don't pay attention to that freaking juking out the keeper in Division One. No, no. His, uh, his his dribbling is not tight. It's uh, very loose. So uh, he runs like with the ball like at least half a yard away from his body how fast he runs and how he controls the ball. I put this video in so you guys could see his penalty kick taking. Of course he makes it or else it wouldn't be in the freaking video. Um, sorry to spoil it. But yeah, another con I want to say is his uh, three star, three star. God damn it, man. If this guy at least had a weak foot or a freaking... Ah, damn it. A freaking at least skill moves. Because I don't mind having uh, no skill moves, but this man's weak foot is like uh, a freaking pirate leg. It's wooden. It doesn't do nothing. It's like that dude from Family Guy. It doesn't do one bit of help for his uh, himself. The man has a freaking wooden leg. Left leg, at least. Uh, boom. Right-footed finesse. Uh, goal. But yeah, that's a con. So he has uh, no weak foot, no skill moves. Uh, not the best dribbling. I'm not going to say it's bad. It's just not the best. I wish it was better. You could always do that with chemistry, especially if you play him with a 10 chemistry. He'd uh, do just fine with dribbling. And he does just fine with dribbling. Uh, another thing is, uh, man, it's weird to say this, that he's not consistent because he's missed a couple one-on-ones. It's probably just because his finishing isn't so high. But uh, I want to say... I don't want to put that. Never mind. That's not a con. That's just my opinion. He's not consistent, but it, it's, it doesn't make sense to say he's not. Because his goals to uh, games ratio is way too high for me to say that. The, the freaking stats are there. The proof is in the pudding, as they say in uh, India. Um, so, I mean, I can't say that. Uh, but, I mean, he's a pretty cool player. I recommend him. Division, I recommend him in is uh, Division 3. And up, I don't. Re I mean, and below, I don't re recommend you use him. Well, actually, Division Two, go ahead, give him a freaking try. Put him in there, see what he does as a sub as well. Try him out. I do recommend that. He costs around fifteen to twenty thousand coins. I mean, you could make that in a freaking week. 
are probably less depending how good your pack look is. So I do recommend you make them. And I'm pretty sure you have players in your club to make them. I think it only took like, what, a team of 82 rated or 83 rated to make him, I believe. So that's not too expensive. So he was very cheap and very well worth it. And, uh, you, I mean, what else could I say about this freaking guy? He's, he's, uh, I give him one out of ten, I guess, is, um, a solid 7.5. Give him a solid 7.5. FIFA Beetle proves he is Gucci, not Fucci. I don't think I've reviewed one bad player just yet, but that is to come. I should review players, and if I don't like them, tell you guys about them. If you guys have any recommendations of what players you want me to review, please post them down in the comments and I will get to them. Well, anyways, this has been FIFA Beetle. I hope you guys liked this video. Please like and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll catch you guys in the next time. My schedule, Pro Clubs Monday and Friday, Sunday's player reviews, and uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Stay Gucci, not Fucci. Peace out.